ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಅನುಪಮ ರಾವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಂಗಳ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಮಂದಿರ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಲೆಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಲೆಸನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಕ್ಲೆನ್ಲಿನೆಸ್ ನೈರ್ಮಲ್ಯ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛತೆ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಪುಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಹು ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರಿಮಿಂಗ್ ಹರ್ ನೇಲ್ಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ವೆದರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ this one is good habit so you can see a right mark here right yes children here you have to tell what is she doing she is she is eating her na- nails she is biting her nails she she is very bad so this one is bad habit so you have to write here wrong wrong mark then you can see this boy who is washing his hands yes children you are correct this one is good habit so you have to write right mark then you can see this girl who is wearing shoes and walking in the kitchen and drinking milk which is bad habit so you have to put cross mark wrong mark children this one you have to see and here even this one you have to find out whether it is good habit or the bad habit then you have to write in the box children do you wash your hands after going home yes we do you have to answer yes we do do you leave your shoes in the middle of the hall no we don't you have to answer no we don't do you speak when food is in your mouth no we don't and we should not Do you keep cut fruits on your notebook? No, we don't. And we should not. Do you wash your clothes regularly? Yes, we do. We should wear clean clothes. Do you eat food sold in the street? No we don't we should not Do you wash fruits and vegetables before eating Yes we do Do you throw rubbish only in the dustbin Yes we do Children you have to write answers here okay children let us sing a rhyme here we go round the mulberry bush mulberry bush mulberry bush here we go round the mulberry bush on a bright and sunny morning 
This is the way we brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth on a bright and sunny morning. This is the way we wash our face. Wash our face. Wash our face. This is the way we wash our face on a bright and sunny morning. Children, you have to sing this rhyme with the action. Children, you can say still more rhymes in this similar manner. This is the way we sweep the room, sweep the room, sweep the room. This is the way we sweep the room on a bright and sunny morning. One more. This is the way we cut our nails, cut our nails, cut our nails. This is the way we cut our nails on a bright and sunny morning. Children, here spot the differences in two pictures and tell your partner about them. These words may help you. Words Apple, Ball, Shoes, Toys, Towel, Dog, Book, Glass, Aeroplane, Cloth. Circle all those pictures that have same sound. One is done for you. Cat, Mat, Leg, Bat, Hat. So you can see Cat is circled, Mat is circled, then Bat is circled, then Hat is circled. So in every word, the vowel A can be seen. Second question. Tin, pin, fish, bin, blue. So you can circle tin, bin, tin, pin, fish, bin. Third and fourth children you should do. Children repeat after me. The cat sat on the mat. A big fat rat is under the hat. I found a pin in a tin near the bin. The bug is snug under the rug. The ten men chased the hen into the den. Den. Chased. Chased and what is going to go? Children, you have to sing this rhyme with actions. Here, diri, the word diri you can see. So, instead of that, you can say any names. You can say Mugdha, you can say Ani, you can say Anu. Wash your hands, Mugdha. Wash both your hands. Wash your hands, Mugdha. Before eating any meal, brush your teeth, Mugdha. Brush your teeth well. Brush your teeth, Mugdha. Every morning and night. Children, here you can see four boxes. You have to choose some any four pictures and you have to draw in those boxes circle all the words which have the same sound as the first word hot pot should we circle this word yes net children should we circle this word no Got. Yes, we should circle this word. Caught. Yes, we should circle this word. Run. 
man no we should not circle this word sun yes we should circle this word bun yes we should circle this word gun yes we should circle this word fig children can you guess which are the rhyming words for this word yes you are correct big dick pig but not jug no jug is not a rhyming word for fig the next word is say hey me try re you have to circle hey me re but not try the next word is pet children you have to practice reading these words you have to practice reading the sentences pet set hit met get you have to circle set met and get the next word is dry pay no you should not circle this word try yes we should fry yes we should circle this word cry yes we should circle this word children match the body part to what it does the first picture is of i with the help of eyes we read the books the next picture is of a ear with the help of ear we can listen to the stories tongue with the help of tongue we can taste food we can taste ice cream hand with the help of hand we can write notes we can write notes leg with the help of leg we can kick the ball with the help of nose we smell we smell the perfume children here you can read a story elimo's gold elimo elimo is a name of a rich merchant who was elimo he was a rich merchant what is the meaning of the word merchant vyapari he had lot of gold with him avanalli enittu bangara ittu eshtittu thumba ittante once he had to go to a nearby city nearby city children you have to hold your finger below the sentences and try to read the sentences when he came back all his gold was gone hatra iro city ge hogi vapas baruvaga avanalliro bangara ella maya aitante yaro kaddu tagondu hodru elimo went to the king for justice elimo yen madda nyaya sigbeku anta rajan bali hoda king andre raja the king kept a donkey in a tent raja yen madda 
ಒಂದು ಗುಡಿಸಲಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಗುಡಿಸಲು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕತ್ತೆ ಡಾಂಕಿ ಡಾಂಕಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಕತ್ತೆ ಕತ್ತೆಯನ್ನು ಇಟ್ಟಂತೆ ಹಿ ಪುಟ್ ಪರ್ಫ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೇಲ್ ಟೇಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಬಾಲ ಬಾಲಕ್ಕೆ ಪರ್ಫ್ಯೂಮ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹಾಕ್ತಂತೆ ಹಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಟಚ್ ದ ಡಾಂಕೀಸ್ ಟೇಲ್ ರಾಜ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ದ ಗ್ರಾಮದಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಗುಡಿಸಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಕತ್ತೆಯ ಬಾಲವನ್ನು ಮುಟ್ಟಿ ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಬಾಲಕ್ಕೇನಿದೆ ಪರ್ಫ್ಯೂಮ್ ಇದೆ ಪರ್ಫ್ಯೂಮ್ ಹಚ್ಚಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಫ್ ದ ಥೀಫ್ ಟಚ್ಡ್ ದ ಟೇಲ್ ಕಳ್ಳ ಆ ಬಾಲವನ್ನು ಮುಟ್ಟಿದರೆ ಕತ್ತೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಕತ್ತೆ ಜೋರಕ್ಕೆ ಕಿರ್ಚುತ್ತಂತೆ ಬ್ರೇ ಕತ್ತೆಯ ಧ್ವನಿಗೆ ಏನಂತೀವಿ ಬ್ರೇ ಅಂತೀವಿ ಕತ್ತೆ ಕಿರ್ಚೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಬ್ರೇ ಅಂತೀವಿ ದ ಡಾಂಕಿ ವುಡ್ ಬ್ರೇ ಹಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಕಳ್ಳ ಏನಾದರೂ ಬಾಲವನ್ನು ಮುಟ್ಟಿದರೆ ಕತ್ತೆ ಜೋರಕ್ಕೆ ಕಿರ್ಚುತ್ತಂತೆ when each villager touched the donkey and came out the king smelled his hand one person's hand did not smell of perfume adre obnadu kaige perfume tagirlilante The king declared him the thief. Raja in Marthane, Avane Kalla Anta Hiltane. Yaki. The thief had not touched the tail. Kalla Kathe Balavana Mutto Dilla. Valagogi Hange Vapas Parthane. he was afraid the donkey would bray kallanige en bhaya ittu balavanna muttidre katte joragi kirchute kallanane anta gottagutte anta balavanna muttade hange vapas bartanante children let us learn subject and predicate here you can see four pictures and you can see four sentences given below the picture birds fly in the sky the cow eats grass our team won the match the lady is cooking the food in the sentence 1 birds are doing some action and fly in the sky are the words which tell us about the birds right fly in the sky are the words which tell us about birds so this one is subject and this part of a sentence is predicate in the sentence 2 the cow is doing some action and eats grass are the words which tell us about the cow eats grass are the words which tell us about the cow in the sentence 3 our team is doing some action right and won the match are the words which tell us about our team 
won the match. Tell us about our team. In the sentence 4, the lady is cooking the food. The lady is doing some action, right? And is cooking the food are the words which tell us about the lady. Is cooking the food. Tells us about the lady. So here birds is subject and fly in the sky is predicate. The cow is subject, eats grass is predicate. Our team is subject, won the match is predicate. The lady is subject, is cooking the food is predicate. The action doer in a sentence can be someone or something. So, the name of the person or thing is called the subject and what is said about the subject is called the predicate. Children, here you can see three pictures. But before that, let us revise one more time the meaning of subject and predicate. A sentence has essentially two parts. Someone or something spoken about. Words which tell us about someone or something. The first part is called the subject. The second part is called the predicate. Children here, the first picture, the earth revolves around the sun. The earth is subject, revolves around the sun is predicate. Second picture, the mangoes are sweet. The mangoes is subject, are sweet is predicate. Third picture, the tailor stitches our clothes. The tailor is subject, stitches our clothes is predicate. Children, let us look at the homework. Children, practice and read the story Elimo's Gold. Make a video. Thank you.